In this tutorial, we'll be going over how you can take one of your designs and make them into these sticker mockups, as you see here on my screen. So let me come over here into my other document. If I open up the layers menu here, you can see I have my example design placed on a single layer. If you'd like to follow along with what I'm doing in this tutorial, make sure that you have a single design placed on a single layer like I do here. You may have to merge layers together in order to make that happen. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to turn off the visibility of the background layer. Uh, by checking this box over here. And then I'm going to come over here to the color picker and I'm going to set the, the, uh, the fill color to white. And then I'm going to come up here to the layers menu again and I want to make a duplicate of this layer right here. So I'm going to slide this to the left and then tap duplicate. And then I want to apply an alpha lock to the layer. So I'll tap on the layer till I get this little fly out menu and I'm going to choose alpha lock over here. And now with al alpha lock implied, I can tap this again and I can go to fill layer. And what that's going to do is it's going to fill it with white, which is the color I have set up here. So let's tap on this layer again. Let's remove the alpha lock, close out of the layers menu. And now I'm going to come over here to the effects menu and I'm going to apply a Gaussian blur. I'm going to apply it to the entire layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my, my pencil on the screen and I'm just going to slide to the right to apply a Gaussian blur like that. I'm going to apply a, a pretty subtle one. The size of your blur is going to dictate the, the size of the white outline around your sticker. So keep that in mind when you're creating it. I'm going to go for a thinner, a thinner outline like that. Okay. Now, once you've done that, tap on the special effects menu again to deselect that. And let's grab the selection tools over here. We want to make sure we have automatic enabled over here from the top and add applied as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold a tap over the white area and slide to the right and it's going to create my selection. If I slide to the left, it's going to make a smaller selection. If I slide to the right, it's going to make a larger selection. So keep that in mind when creating your selection. I'm going to make mine about that big right there. And then I'm going to open up the layers menu over here and I'm going to tap the plus icon to add a new layer. And I'm going to turn off the visibility of this layer. I'm going to close out of the layers menu and I'm going to take my color disc up here in the, in the uh, top right corner, this white disc, and I'm just going to tap and drag this into the selection there. And it's going to fill it in like that. And now we can close out of this selection by tapping on the selection menu like that. And now what we can do is we can come back up over here to the layers menu, hold a tap over layer three right here and just move this to the bottom between the background layer and layer one so that you have that outline there, right? Like, uh, like that going around the subject. And we could actually take this layer up here and delete that. We don't need that anymore. So now let's create a duplicate of this layer. I'm going to slide this to the left, tap duplicate, and I'm going to hold a tap and bring this to the right. What we're creating now is the drop shadow to go beneath the sticker. So let me apply an alpha lock here. I'm going to tap on this layer again, apply an alpha lock, and let me open up the color menu. And this time I'm going to choose black. And now I will come back up here to the layers menu, tap on layer three, go to fill layer and now we have that layer filled with black and what you could do now is you could grab your selection tool and then just slide this down or move it down just a little bit slightly below a little bit offset maybe a little bit too to the right or left slightly below where the white outline is now we can go back to our layers menu hold a tap over layer three bring it to the bottom beneath the background layer and the uh, first layer over there like that and now what we can do is let's turn on the visibility of the background layer again and let's come over here to the effects menu and go to Gaussian blur, apply it to the entire layer, and then just tap and slide on your screen to the right to apply a Gaussian blur. It looks like I did that wrong. Let me undo that. Before we do that, we actually have to remove the alpha lock. So let's tap on layer three. Let's remove the alpha lock and then try that again. Come back up here to the layers menu, uh, to the uh, adjustments menu, Gaussian blur, layer, and now we should be able to blur it. There we go. So that we're getting a little bit of a drop shadow effect there like that. And I'm actually going to bring down the opacity of that a little bit. I'm going to come back up here to the layers menu and I'm going to tap on this little N icon right here in the layer. And that's going to allow me to change the opacity of that layer like that to make that drop shadow a little more subtle. Okay, looking better. Now we can close out of that. What we're going to do now is we're going to merge all of these layers together so that we have a single sticker that we can duplicate and make copies of over and over again. So let me tap on layer one, tap on it again, go to merge down, tap on layer three, merge down. And there you go. You now have a single layer with a sticker 
made from your design here. And you could actually uh, duplicate this layer. If you slide this to the left, tap duplicate, grab your selection tool and just move this off to the right or left a little bit like that. Do the same thing again, duplicate. Grab your selection tool, move this off a little bit as well. Maybe rotate this one a little bit to make it look natural, like a little stack of stickers. Let me duplicate this again. Grab the selection tool, move this one over like that. And I'll rotate that one as well. Maybe I'll rotate this one like that. And there we go. So there you go. That is how you can take one of your designs and use it to make these sticker mock-ups using uh, Procreate for the iPad. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.